crews in the Gulf right now. KTVU's Health and Science Editor John Fowler has been investigating. He's live in Livermore tonight with more. John? I want to show you what a Livermore company says it can do. I'm going to pour motor oil on this tub of water simulating an oil spill. And now I'm going to sprinkle in a construction powder called Isonil. Isonil is uh, commonly available, and uh, the company says this could be the next big thing in oil spill cleanup. It completely repels water, and the other characteristic of it is that it absorbs oil. It's a calcium-based aggregate the U.S. government says does not harm the environment. Our test shows it quickly separates oil from water and makes skimmable floating oil clumps. The company says the Coast Guard tested it today in the Gulf. We're seeing this going to be extremely fast-tracked in order to deal with the, the current situation on the Gulf. Another idea is to take super cold carbon dioxide and on the ocean bottom inject it into the leaking well. Frozen oil sickles could be more easily collected. And what's already working is hair from San Francisco's Elevation and other salons and barbershops. Rock singer Kimmy Ricor's bangs, instead of being tossed, are going to the Gulf. You kind of feel helpless, you know, like you can't really help, but this is a really cool way that you can help. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. Human and animal hair naturally soaks up oil. Volunteers at San Francisco-based Matter of Trust stuff donated hair into donated nylon stockings, making natural, basically free, oil booms. They did it for the Costco Busan spill two years ago. Since this golf accident, it is absolutely blown wide open across the United States. Matter of Trust has sent more than 200 tons of hair booms to the Gulf. Donations are pouring in from around the nation. They expect to send out another 50 tons every day. Low-tech and high-tech solutions for oil spills that can be used not only in the Gulf, but also in other spills around the world. I'm Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News.